All right, folks, so I know it's been a while since I haven't filmed any video. I've been pretty busy with a lot of different things and uh, I'm gonna have a busy future, but I'm gonna try as much as possible to release some videos for you um, to put my ideas out there for anyone that needs it, you know, any people that want to work on that sort of thing. And what I was um, playing with yesterday, I was playing with uh, known less lethal use of a firearm. So everybody knows that you know a firearm is a projectile launcher. That's what it is. It's launching projectile at great speed, and you know once once the the, the firearm is empty, then there is no more projectiles. And a lot of people you know don't think about right. You see people in movie once the, once the firearm is like this, they they discard it. How many times have you seen in a, a Hollywood movie? people discarding that one kilogram, roughly one kilogram piece of metal. It's roughly about one kilogram when it's empty. Do you know what I mean? So it's a pretty heavy piece of metal that could be used to impact your target, okay? So that's what I've been toying with yesterday, um, how to use a firearm, a pistol or, or a revolver as an impact weapon. Okay, to be maybe a bit less lethal, you could still be lethal potentially depending on what you target, but it's going to be less lethal than uh, a projectile. So for the sake of what uh, I'm going to show you now, I'm going to use this trading weapon. Okay, it's, it's a Beretta. It doesn't really uh, matter what make it is. It is a bit less heavy than that, okay, because it's a piece of plastic. But it's a good way for me to show you what I'm going to show you and, and preserve my dummy as well. So let's just go from the point of view that we used we used our weapon. Now the mag is empty. Okay. What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to discard it because I've got a one kilogram piece of metal in my hand that I can use to impact the target. Okay. So the different ways, okay, we're just gonna start with holding it that way, like everybody knows. How could you use uh, this piece of metal when you when you hold it like that, okay? Well, just remember that you can strike with absolutely any part of that gun could be used to impact a person. It could also be used to assist in some, some types of restraining, okay? So if I had, the arm here, I could use this part to assist here in locking that arm, okay? I could um, potentially use this for different different ways, okay? Now, I can use, of course, the muzzle to impact, yeah? So the muzzle can impact, okay? The gun is empty, it's not gonna fire. So I'm gonna use it the best I can, okay, to win the fight. So I could impact, okay? impact to the face really i would impact somewhere to the throat and the chin okay so depending on what angle i create to myself i got a chin here and i got the, the throat here and i can use that to impact okay it's not any different than punching except that you got a different drill bit okay so i'm here i got impact here impact in the jaw impact in the throat okay i could even Go for body shots with a muzzle. Yeah, I got body shots here, body shots, head shots. Okay, with a muzzle. So this is one thing that I can use to strike. Okay. Now of course I can use okay this part of the gun as well to impact. So I can reverse hammer. Okay, reverse hammer fit. Okay, I could do that to the throat. I could do that to the face. Okay. Then I could mix these two, okay, these two part of the gun to strike, okay. So I could go there back and then strike like this, okay. So I could use this part of the gun, smash his nose or smash his chin or his throat, yeah. Control to strike or strike again here, okay. So you're basically boxing with your gun. So imagine that you've got some sort of boxing stance and you can jab, jab, cross, Hook, hook, uppercut, body shot, hook, uppercut, cross, cross, uppercut, hook, body shot, okay? All that with that piece of metal. So I'll let you imagine 
how it feels you know imagine try and get already if you were to train with this sort of gun on a life partner i promise you that he will feel it okay so imagine now with a piece of metal so if i'm here once again i can use this i can use this what i can also use is this part here this part of the gun can be used to strike as well okay so i can use to strike and what i'm going to do is i'm going to kind of slash okay i know it's not a blade but if it's a piece of metal with different quite sharp angles okay it could still at least scratch the face nicely or even lacerate it in some way okay so it's not a, a knockout shot okay it's something just to take his attention away so i could go there strike and rip that across his eyes boom, to come back with this and maybe to finish with that sort of shot to the back of the head okay so there's so many different combos i'm not going to show you everything because we don't have the time to show you everything but i just want to show you a bit what to strike and what part of the gun you'll use to strike every single part of the gun can be used uh, to impact even this okay this can be used to impact as well if i turn the dummy in a certain way okay if i am here if i am to the side of the dummy as you can see if i'm to this side i could use this side okay i could strike here to the throat of course i could have to put his guard down get his hands out of the way so that i can work on his face so what would i use once again this part of the gun smash his hand out of the way boom, go to the throat okay i use this part of the gun to strike the back of the hand or the wrist i just want to get his hands out of the way so that i can work here okay so smash his hand strike to the throat or strike to the face okay now i could maximize the, the impact by creating some sort of collision effect by slapping the back of the head okay the first thing is that if you do this right and you slap the back of the head you're going to create this electrical current okay where you're going to go rush there that's already going to shake his brain okay now imagine if at the same time i got this okay strike to the back of the head and strike to the throat or to the chin okay chin nose the thing is that you want to pull the plug the best way to deal with somebody is to knock him out so you want to take his consciousness if you aim for the nose yes he'll break his nose yes he's gonna bleed or is that gonna stop the fight no not necessarily okay if you strike to the throat there is a much better chance for you to stop the fight to end the fight if you strike to the chin there is a much better chance for you to take his consciousness so think in terms of what you have to aim at if you want to end the fight okay consciousness is always going to be the best option take his consciousness and there is no one to fight you yeah so once again using this side of the gun there okay to the throat to the nose and i'm gonna double okay i'm gonna double the effect by slapping to the back of the head here to shake his brain yeah that's what it would happen if his hands are somewhere in the way i can use once again either this or this okay to get his hand out of the way slap his hand out of the way strike slap his hand out of the way strike okay slap his hand out of the way strike okay or slap his hand out of the way strike okay now what could i also do i could also use this okay to attack the groin if i was on the inside here okay i got this i can attack the groin with this okay this part of the gun i'm gonna slap right under his sack with the gun okay right there okay so as you can see there's many things that i could do and i could use any part of the gun to strike because it's a one kilogram piece of metal it's really gonna hurt if you hit somebody with it okay so that's for that okay now there is another way that you could hold your gun which i would favor if i was to use this as an impact weapon okay you have to look at a piece you know it doesn't matter what it is i'm quite good like that when it comes to turning things into a weapon you give me anything you give me anything i will turn it into a weapon i'll find a way i'll, I'll find the best way to hold it and the best way to to strike with it 
okay? Same thing here. That gun is now empty, so it's inert, it's dry, it's not going to hurt anyone, not with a projectile, okay? Now if I grab it like this, all of a sudden I've got some sort of hammer, okay? This is the same way that you hold a hammer, whether you don't want to trap your finger in there, just in case somebody tries and grab it from you and your, your fingers stay trapped in there, it's up to you. You could grab it like this here. The fingers like this here, it's easier to lose it, okay? If you're here, then it might be harder for you to lose it. But then again, you know, there is no right and wrong. You can do what you want, okay? So now, predominantly, when I'm using the gun, when I'm holding it like this, I'm gonna use this part. But it doesn't mean that it's the only part that I'm gonna use. This is, to me, the best part that I'm gonna use, okay? Because I'm gonna use that to impact, okay? And I'm gonna use gross motor skills all the time. Of course, if you wanna have a bit of fun to do some things that are a bit more martial arty, then it's fine. But you really wanna stay gross motor skills, okay? The simple movements are the movements that you're gonna be able to perform under extreme adrenal stress, okay? So, once you go reptilian brain, once you go midbrain, okay, all these fine motor skills is gone out the window. You're not going to be able to use it. So if you use this piece of metal and you hold it like that, I'm going to show you the best way to use it. Once again, you can use absolutely any edge of it to strike. You can use the muzzle once again that way, okay? You can use here the handle this way. You can use the handle this way this way okay you can even use this okay to strike to strike to strike okay think boxing think boxing boxing are very very simple combos okay imagine you got a piece of metal at the end yeah you can fight with this okay so if i'm here okay same thing here i could yeah just strike some sort of black fist or hammer fist, okay? Strike to the chin, to the jaw, oh, to the chin, to the throat, okay? Throat, yeah, chin. I could also get the groin, see? Get the groin. I could get the groin, get, you know, the throat, okay? And of course, yeah, I can use this to hammer it. I'm gonna aim for the jaw, okay? Because once again, I wanna take his consciousness, so I'm gonna aim for the jaw, yeah? using this part of the pistol here to knock him out, okay? The jaw or the side of the neck, okay? If I get him to the side of the neck, I get him on the artery, I'm gonna drop his blood pressure, which is good as well, it's a good knockout, okay? Either this sort of knockout to the chin or this sort of knockout, okay? Drop his blood pressure. Attack the groin, okay? And once again, with this, you can get his hands out of the way. You know, even if he had, I'll let you imagine if he had a blade, if he had a knife or something and he was coming at you with a blade and the only thing that you had was an empty gun, okay? You were in a firefight, you were in a gunfight, you used all your ammo, your gun is empty. The only thing that he's standing between that guy and his blade and you is this kilo piece of metal, how are you going to use it, okay? So the guy comes at me with the blade, I can use this to smash his hand. Doesn't matter any angle, okay? You have to train all the different angles. Same as Kali and knife fighting and stuff, just think about the clock, all the different angles that you can use, okay? Some angles are very martial arty, okay? All these angles and these angles, okay, are very martial arty, but if you keep gross motor skills you will keep with this angle okay which is vertical hammer yeah this angle which is more of a diagonal hammer you could even have this angle okay that is more like a like a hook and then you know you got the back fist okay motion maybe that one okay for the rest you can train it it's good for attributes Okay, but it's quite martial arty. If you want to stay gross motor skills, that that half a circle is pretty good. All these angles, hum, 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 hum. Yeah. So same thing here. Strike the hand. Strike the hand. Okay. 
Strike your hand that way while you use your footwork. Strike your hand when you use that way. Use your footwork to get out of the way. Strike the groin. Get a body shot here. Right to the rib with the back of that gun. Push. That's going to hurt. Back of the head, brainstem. Push. Yeah? That's going to hurt too. Or, yeah? Back to the head, brainstem using this. Okay? Nah, it's definitely going to knock anybody out. Okay? There, on the outside. You can use the throat again, strike the throat, get the head, throat, head, throat, head, yeah, groin, body shot, head, okay, get his hand out of the way again, the kneecap maybe, break that kneecap, okay, get that, get the groin, body shot, shot at the back of the head, brainstem, okay, or this way, you see how easy just consider that it's a hammer, exactly the same way that you would use a hammer, okay? Now, if I was to be that way, for example, i turn this a bit your way, so that you can see it. If I'm here, same thing, okay? It's different angles. How can I get to him that way? I'm going to use this part of the gun, okay? Strike to the throat, strike to the chain, same thing. Double up, collision effect. Push, push, yeah? If I had to beat his hand out of the way using my footwork to get on the outside, yeah? Get his hand out of the way. Imagine he's got a knife here. Push, get out of the way. Push, push, yeah? So think like that. If you had a hammer, how would you use a hammer? Exactly the same way, okay? Get his hand out of the way. Doesn't matter which angle, okay? Get his hand out of the way. Use your footwork at the same time. Look here, groin, throat, yeah, jaw, and then of course, you see, reverse diagonal, reverse brain stem again using this, yeah. So that gives you a lot of different possibilities, yeah. I don't know, that might make some of you laugh. I don't really care, I'm just having fun with a piece of plastic, okay, but think about it, piece of metal, okay, you've used all your ammunition and you still need to fight, and you're fighting somebody that's got uh, an advantage over you, who's got a weapon, do you stand a better chance with that piece of metal or without that piece of metal? I think, I think it's, it's, you know, it makes sense, it's quite logic, you know, you stand a better chance of survival if you're armed. Doesn't matter what it is, okay? If it's that piece of metal, that's roughly one kilogram when it's empty, that's a brilliant weapon, okay? Take his consciousness with it. Get the jaw, get the jaw. Yes, you can smack his face, okay? Temple, temple, jaw, jaw. Okay, side of the neck, side of the neck, throat, yeah? I don't know if I would strike here. Yeah, depending on what clothing they got, how build it is. But the groin, I can always get the groin, I can get the kneecap, groin, throat, yeah, jaw, 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 move to the side, body shot, back to the head, yeah, this way, or the other way. And then of course you can, you know, as I said, think boxing, okay? So you hear jab, yeah. Jab, there, jab, jab, yeah, jab, boom, groin kick, jab, bam, finish, knock out, yeah? It's all different ways that you can use that piece of metal. There's many other ways that I could show you, but that was just like an introduction, okay? So, if you play with these, yeah, make sure that you know how to use it as an impact weapon as well, because it could save your life. All right, see you later.